are on Fantasy. It is day two of a seven days Western cruise. We just got up. It is beautiful outside right now. It is like the perfect weather that you could ever imagine right now. Today, we're gonna be just walking around the ship, just exploring everything. I'm calling today a spa day because we're just gonna be enjoying all the spa amenities. As I've told you guys, we have the rainforest the entire trip. So we're definitely gonna be taking advantage of that today, going to all the different shows, eating of course, and um, just seeing what other activities are gonna be happening today as well. So it's gonna be another packed Disney Cruise Day, and I'm just so excited to see what today brings. So let's go do this. So we just made it to Cabanas. We were actually gonna be eating our breakfast. There was a little bit of a seat, musical chairs trying to find some seats around, but we were able to find some. If you are looking for seats in Cabanas, I would definitely recommend walking around the entire restaurant because there's a bunch of different spaces that you can go to from here and there. So just kind of walk around because there's gotta be someone that's gonna be getting up and just go and get your spot. I would actually honestly recommend you getting a seat before you go and get the food because the food, there's so many different places that you can get the same food at, but the seats are limited so if you wanted to see inside or if you saw a seat that was near the window just get the seat one of you sit down while the other person gets their food and then or just put your stuff on the actual table that way no one will take it but um, it's definitely a little bit harder to do that when it's in the morning just make sure you're aware of that when you're coming here but we got a good amount of stuff I got the hash browns their hash browns are so good they're the absolute best here I think and they're Mickey Mouse waffles an assortment of whole bunch of different foods as well so we're gonna enjoy this and then we're gonna pick it up from there Just ended up finishing breakfast. Now we're at Cove's Cafe getting a nice coffee. I'm getting cold, she's getting hot. Of course, Amanda's gotta get us. She's still getting used to the camera and everything again. She's forgotten her ways. Oh yeah, yeah, sure, just slowly. Hello, your turn to talk? <laughs> That's how it is. No. You just gotta turn the camera around and start recording. That's how it works. Um, but yeah, so we ended up also another update. I ended up getting some uh, actual a bathing suit, so I'm happy about that. Which was actually a really good price. It was only $35 for this, which I thought was gonna be like 50, but um, got that taken care of, so we're good for the rest of the cruise. So yeah, so we're gonna just have a coffee and then just kind of chill out, and then I think we're gonna stay here for a little, and then we'll probably go and watch our first live show today, which is gonna be Aladdin. Um, so that's gonna be pretty awesome. But it's really nice coming in here. I think it's like a really nice place if you're 18 and plus you can come in here have a nice coffee You can have also alcoholic beverages as well They do have that as well here, too And you can just kind of relax so if you are an adult again I want to point out that Disney Cruise is not just for kids They have places that you can come and have a relaxing time and have the specific areas for yourself So there's definitely gonna be places that are quiet. There's gonna be places that you can just relax um, There's a nice pool that is next to us. So, you know, we're just gonna take advantage of the entire ship and uh, go with the flow. That is so good. They're 10 out of 10, so definitely come here if you want to get your coffee. Another cool thing about this too as well, if you end up buying five coffees, which probably you are going to, you'll get your six one free, which is perfect. So if you're somebody who's drinking a lot of coffee, you definitely want to get this because you're just paying for an extra one. And now you don't have to spend money on like coffee if you didn't want to. You can go to like um, cabanas or anything like that to get coffee as well. But this is for like the specialty coffee. Like you're, think of like a Starbucks, but better in my opinion. That's pretty awesome. So we're just gonna drink these coffees and then uh, go from there. So we gotta stop at the actual store because last night I forgot my Disney Cruise plant that I got. I don't know how I forgot it, but they called us last night. They still have it, so I gotta go pick that up real quick. <laughs> Alright, so I gotta update you guys. So, <laughs> so 
I'm always, I'm going to use the bathroom before we leave, right? And I'll put you on the screen, okay? We're normal human beings, we do, but um, I got that message and I literally thought that Disney was sending me that. I'm like sitting here like, oh, is Disney like, how do they know that I'm using the bathroom? I literally thought that there was some kind of like, I don't even know. I'm like, wait, hold on. How do they know that I'm using the bathroom right now? But it's actually this one who is messaging me <laughs> on the app. I'm like, are you serious? But I do want to just give you another tip as well. If you guys are all on the same ship, you obviously know you're not going to have any service. So what you can do, though, is you can message each other through the app as Amanda has. each other if you guys want to just you know have a play date with the kids if you have kids or if you guys want to meet up at a bar to have a drink or whatever it might be um, just be aware of that also too for all humans it's natural but definitely get you guys this the poop the poopery um, this is amazing because there's not ventilation in the actual state rooms like I know it's kind of uncomfortable to talk about but it is what it is we're humans but um, you just want to get that I think is very useful so that way you know it's not thinking of the entire state room so <laughs> take that for what it is just make sure to get yourself that if you want i think it is very very useful for you to make sure that the room is smelling nice and clean and amazing so i just wanted to share that with you guys might be tmi but i want to give you guys all the tips i possibly can and also keep you updated on the shenanigans that's going on between us <laughs> But right now, again, we're just going to get ready. We're going to be heading to the theater to watch a live action Aladdin, which is one of my favorite shows on any of the Disney cruises that I've been on so far. So we're going to go ahead and do that and then uh, go do the census spa. something by accident the actual little uh trick-or-treat pumpkin bucket on there actually lights up too so that is pretty awesome that is so cool i think it's worth it for the price it's a nice souvenir to have something that you can take with you um that is pretty awesome it's funny because amanda was like it would be so much better if the actual uh, trick-or-treat bucket was actually lighting up and i was like wait i think it actually does and i saw the little tab so I think that's pretty cool. Alright, so Aladdin was amazing. I honestly think that they redid that entire show because it looks completely different than what we got in the dream. Um, but now we're going to be heading up to go try to do the cooking. I don't know if we're going to make it because we're a little bit late. It's at 2 o'clock right now. It's about to be 2 o'clock. So hopefully we'll be able to see that and uh, see what that's about. presentation how it's looking so it need to be nice I'm gonna finish with tomato bro I'm just gonna pour it I like lots so I'm gonna put quite a bit and that way we have a lobster ravioli guys any question after the last day I have to try out Remy's because that was amazing I again I don't eat seafood like that and at all like i don't eat seafood at all you guys know that and that was really really good so i would highly highly recommend you guys going to check that out because i think it is so worth it you get lobster ravioli and you also have a wine pairing with it which we didn't even expect that so that's awesome so now i think we're going to actually stop off in the room drop everything off and get ready and probably go to the census spot i love doing that that was one of the things that i wanted to do was just do more of like the activities that are free that are just they pop up you know because you never know what there's what's there or not and i'm so glad that we did that amanda actually saw that and i was like oh yeah let's go see it i mean we don't like seafood again but we were like you know what let's be adventurous that's what a disney cruise does to you it causes you to be more adventurous and want to go out and do more things and that's why i love doing these and sure enough it was a great experience like that executive chef i believe his name was bart 
um, is the executive chef of Remy's, which is what we haven't tried just yet. We've been trying Apollo's, but we need to book one of those because that was so good. Like, I really enjoyed the seafood with the pairing of the wine. And like the uh, wine expert was talking about, like, it really does cut that fishiness because as soon as you would sip it and you'd have a bite of the actual lobster, it worked so well. So I'm so happy we did that. It was such a great experience and, you know, going through that and uh, we're gonna get changed. We're gonna go ahead and uh, get ready and then we're gonna go to the census spa from there. Later tonight, Tynell Johnson reporting live from Disney Census Spa. It looks like it's a little bit of a rainy day there. And later in the news, authorities are still on the lookout for a Disney adult who's going around stealing Halloween candy. so many different temperatures at you and different pressures. It's like hot and cold, then they're beaming on you with the pressure as you saw, but this is beautiful. All right, so nobody's in here right now in the beds with us. So I'm just gonna give you a quick, honest review. I'll go with you first, cause I think you guys already know mine, but we'll go with Amanda. What do you think about this whole thing? It never worth it. <laughs> Is it worth it, do you think, the money and everything? Yeah, I definitely think it's worth it. Right. These beds are, feel so good. They're it, so warm. It's, it's, it's like the perfect temperature. Yeah, yeah. Everything here is amazing. Like, I thought that they were going to be because they're hard. Like, it was going to be hard on your body and stuff. But the way that it's, like, contorted, it, like, makes you feel that it, like, hits all of, like, the pressure points. So you don't feel that much pressure. She had a little bit of a hard time because she's small, so you have to maybe sometimes adjust it a little bit to fit yeah. how your body is, but besides that, like, this is amazing, guys. Like, again, I know I've already said this like 15 million times, but it is so true. Like, it is amazing doing this. Like, it's a 10 out of 10 for me. I Actually, it's going to be a 20 out of 10 for me. Like, it's amazing. It's awesome. It's amazing. Like I said, I think she was right. The cast member who told us about the times to come in 
100% do that. If you want to get a uh, entire rainforest room to yourself, come in after three, it is like dead. We've had the entire bed. We've had a couple people in here for a little bit, but for the most part, like we've been able to do everything that we wanted to do and some. So it's just, this is the life. This is vacationing in my opinion. Like this is what's called a relaxing vacation, I think. Would you, wouldn't you say? Yeah, I'm going to fall asleep. Yeah, <laughs> we don't want to leave. We have to leave here in like 30 minutes or so because we have to go to dinner. Um, but we're definitely going to be coming here more often. But this is this is awesome. All right, so we just got through taking a shower, freshening up so that we can get ready for our actual dinner tonight at Enchanted Gardens and also so we're fresh and ready for the masseuses tonight. But before we actually go to that, I did want to give you a little tip of the day because this was actually requested by Amanda because she thought it was a good idea and important for us to know how to show you how to use the actual shower uh, because it is a little bit complicated if you're new to cruising so basically I'm gonna give you a quick rundown of how it works so that you're prepared because if not you're gonna flood your bathroom like we did but basically when you first are looking at the shower these are your controls right here as far as um, your temperature this is this side with the grit your temperature and changing it from the tub function to the actual shower so this right here with the gray little knob as you can see here that presses in this is going to be your temperature and then on the left side is going to be where you would see the um functions of changing from the um tub to the actual shower which i'll show you in a minute but before i do i want to let you know that you want to make sure that before you even try to turn this on that you actually have this set to the proper way that it's not going to spray everywhere. So I would recommend kind of like angling it towards the actual wall or like towards the tub because when it comes out there could be a lot of pressure and the way that you do that is just by like, you know, applying some force and it will um, pu push up and down and you can turn this left and right from there. This right here as well, if you turn it, it's going to allow you to loosen this up and then you can drop this down or up depending upon how tall you are and how high you want this to best reach you so that when you're taking a shower, it's actually hitting all the body parts that you want it to hit. Um, but yeah, so now that we got that out of the way, I'll make sure to angle it this way so I don't spray myself because that's the last thing I need. Um, so what you're gonna do is you're gonna come down here. If you wanna use the tub or if you like to just start it off to test the water, you can go ahead and turn this knob see look i was already missing up on this so this is your temperature but this is how you turn it on and off as well so as you can see when i turn it towards me it's going to turn the shower on but when i turn it away it's going to turn the actual tub on so if you turn it away from yourself tub turn it towards yourself this way will turn on the shower up here once if you want it to stop you want to put this in the middle so you can see here there's like a little like knob here that you want to make sure this is in the middle and this is where it's going to be off so once you have that in the middle you're going to have it off and then again i'll say it again if you turn away from yourself it's going to turn the tub on if you turn it towards yourself it is going to turn the shower on and you'll know because this little knob here is what you're um changing the direction for and then again in the middle is where it's going to be as far as shutting it off. Now, if you want it to essentially be hot or cold, you want away from you is going to be cold. So it's starting to get cold from here. And then towards you, it's going to be hot. So, <laughs> and then in the middle is obviously going to be, you know, warm. And it will walk in too when you're in the middle from there as well. And then... If you want to have the bathtub, you turn this knob. So this knob right here is what's going to allow the, the drainage to stop, and then you're going to fill it up. And then this one going straight up and down is going to open the drain for you. And to turn it off again, in the middle, and it turns off. So that's pretty much it. That's what we're going over. Quickly also as well, because we got to go. But this right here is where you can make your little line right here and this is where you can put your bathing suit so i'm going to put mines up here for now so that way it can dry while we're away and then we're good to go but we got to go because we have a dinner right now and we're already late so um i hope that helps you out because it definitely was something that we need to learn and we'll go from there all right in a matter of a second 
we got the outfit changed, so we should be good to go. We gotta book it down there because I didn't realize it was formal night and we have our dinner. So let's go do that right now to Chana Gardens. Thank God everything is on one ship because if not, I'd be super, super late. This is actually where Amanda uh, was found where we're supposed to be formal. So that's a pro tip that she found that's really good. If you go on the My Plans, on your actual dinner, it'll tell you the attire. So as you can see, it's formal. And you also can see your seating, your table number, because they're gonna ask you that when you first come in. That's what they're looking for. So you can get that prepared before you come down here, or you can ultimately pull it up if you need to, to remember. Of course, they knew that there was a kid. Amanda was a kid. <laughs> that was here when we got here, but it fit. It fit, because she's definitely a kid at heart. <laughs> so for the appetizer, I went ahead and skipped it. I personally just like the soup and the salad, so I got the asparagus soup and then I got the wedge salad, and then Amanda got the um, spring cucumber spring rolls, basically, that's what it's called. But I, I'll show you, you saw it on the screen, all the different menu options, but she selected that one. It's really, really good, but I just really like this. This is so good. It has a little bit of like crab meat. Again, I don't eat seafood, but it's so good in here. If anything, I could eat seafood on the Disney Cruise. I should maybe try some other seafood stuff on here, so you'll probably see that. But this was really, really good. It was perfect exactly what I needed and then we'll see the rest of the food that we have. So we just got through with the salad. For me, the salad was okay. It was a basic salad. It had croutons, you know, the sauce. Croutons are a little bit kind of like stale for me, but that could just be how the style is and it's just how my taste buds are. Um, but Amanda actually said that her salad was pretty good with like the raspberry and cheese, the blue cheese on there, but amazing, amazing, amazing service. Food's really good, but you know, the salad is just something that I would really, probably won't get next time. I'll probably get something different, but it's good and refreshing, so it was all good to go. the pork tenderloin with, it had like a little potato crisp on the bottom of it. That was a 10 out of 10, that was amazing. I love that one, I think I got that last time and I just had to get it again. I also got something that was new, was the portobello mushrooms. That was really, really good. It had like a lentil sauce on the bottom. Again, I'll put on the screen what exactly it was. That was so good, Amanda's actually eating the lentil part of it, she's eating it right now and I think she can tell you if it was good or not. This is delicious. She ended up going with the prime rib uh, with a baked potato. I think it was a double baked potato that I had on there um, and some vegetables as well. But overall, main meal was amazing. I definitely give it a 10 out of 10. But yeah, it's very, very good. Enchanted Gardens is more like Amanda likes to say. It's fresh, it's flavorful. It's like all stuff from like the garden because we're in Enchanted Gardens. So you're getting that kind of fragrant kind of flavoring with all the different fresh vegetables and seasonings and things like that. So that's what to expect. So now I think we're gonna wait for dessert and I'm probably and I know that there's gonna be characters that are gonna be showing up pretty soon as well so I'll definitely capture that for you as well but overall great service really really good food So we just got through with our dessert. It was really, really good. The little like lemon custard was pretty good. It is sugarless, so there isn't that sugar that you're kind of expecting when you're eating like a, a dessert, but I think it's really refreshing and it goes well if you get like the chocolate cake and then the chocolate sundae. Those are good too as well. They're not like my favorite favorite, but because I'm just not a chocolate person like that. Um, but overall, the meal was great. The cast members were amazing. We had a great time with our head server, talked with her, she was amazing. We're pretty much wrapping it up. I don't think they're having the characters out. I don't know if that's not what they do on the fantasy or if they kind of just stopped doing that for now or they just stopped it for this particular cruise. But that's okay. That's perfectly fine. We're gonna go ahead and probably go and explore the ship and then from there we're gonna start getting ready for our actual massage. Overall 10 out of 10 experience was great. Love it. Give him the 
actual gift that we talked about, so yeah. that's pretty awesome. So. Great channel. Please subscribe. <laughs> I appreciate I'll it. I'll tell you, I've been following him for a while. I love this <laughs> He's the Croc Gang, too. See? Yeah, Croc Gang. Are good. For sure. yeah. It's worth it. It is worth it. You are right. I can't complain. It's, it's awesome. It's a lifesaver. It is. It is. It's <laughs> awesome. It's like the best thing, but I appreciate you guys. Yeah. You guys are amazing. Thank you for coming out from there. Absolutely. Awesome. Just got back to the room and we got a shark. That is so cool. <laughs> that is so perfect. That's the first time I've ever seen like a shark being done as a towel animal. Sorry, I'm out of breath. We just ran, <laughs> we ran up like five flights of stairs plus and then we ran back down. But yeah, so that was so cool to finally meet you, Brian, and your wife and your kids. That was so awesome. I'm so happy I was able to run into you so I can give you those magnets before the cruise was over because I was afraid that I wasn't going to see you again because even though the ship is pretty small enough for us to run into each other, it's massive and everyone else has their own plans and stuff going on. So that was so cool, so awesome to finally give, meet you guys so that we could give you those gifts and uh, I hope you enjoy them. Yeah, it was so nice to meet you guys. Yeah, that was awesome. So now we're gonna go ahead and get ready for our actual massage, which I can't wait. I've been waiting this whole entire time for this because that's just my favorite thing to do to just relax and get the massage and then go from there. So it's 30 minutes until we have that. So we'll just kind of relax here for a little bit and then we'll head from there. Before we go, of course you have to do the inaugural lighting. Yeah. <laughs> looks so good. Just we're late to our, well actually not late, it's only, what, 8.25, so we'll get there a little bit late. We should have been there at like 8.20, I think, but <laughs> we're gonna get there. Oh my God, guys, if you don't learn anything from our all the vlogs that we do, make sure to get there on time. You're a hot mess. I know, we're always doing that, every no. time. It's me, I know, okay, wait. No, we, you do it too, you do it too sometimes. Barely. Oh God, okay, I, got, I just have to take this one for the team. Just make sure you get there. <laughs> So I just got the nice robe on and we're about to get ready to go into our couple's massage. Um, just to let you know, if you are doing this, you do not have to get naked if you don't want to. You can wear your underwear underneath this, um, both female and male as well. Um, so yeah, so I can't wait to finally do this. This is the one thing that I've been looking forward to this entire time and uh, we'll go ahead and get that done and I'll let you know how amazing it was afterwards. Yeah hours later we just got through with our amazing massage that was amazing i was telling amanda like as you can see my hair is a mess because we did a, such a nice massage she massaged my head and everything it was 10 out of 10. i love getting massages here they are great they're amazing so i love it every time that we're going so we're gonna go ahead and get out of here and then see what's next to whatever we else we run into so we actually came out on the top deck i don't know if you can see me that well but uh i don't know if you can hear that either but there's a bunch of like little birds that i think are trying to catch a little break or something like that from the sea because they're just all over the place they look like bats almost i think a lot of people thought they were bats but they're little birds that they're just they're flying but <laughs> it looks like they're trying to like catch a breath or they're trying to get because it is kind of a little bit windy so i don't know if they're kind of stuck or something like that but they're just hanging out cruising with us so that's pretty cool that's awesome but yeah i don't know if you can like see but they're like swooping low they're all up in the uh where the light is kind of relaxing i'm telling you guys there's an adventure when you go on any disney cruise like you just never know what you're gonna run into that's pretty awesome though this doesn't get any better had a nice massage had a great day and of course, one of my favorite, number one favorite destinations on this earth, Hawaii, and they're playing Hawaiian music. Can't get any better. Nope, now I just need ice cream. Yep, yeah, we'll get that a little bit later. <laughs> oh, what a full and eventful day. It has been amazing. That massage was great. We had such a good time. That was such a good experience with us. Like, it was relaxing, it was calm. What was your assessment of the actual massage? It felt so good. It did. I didn't realize how tense I was. Yeah. <laughs> That's the thing. When you go to a massage, like they uncover so many different hidden knots and just so many different things that you didn't know was there. So I was getting a massage and then she went on my leg and I was like, oh. 
Yeah. Oh, what's that? <laughs> she asked her a couple of times, she's like, is that too much pressure? She's like, no, I'm just ticklish, you know, which is a little bit too much, but um, she just, it, it feels so good. Like once you can like get through like the initial like, it's not pain, it's just, you know, they're just working out the, the actual like it's knots and stuff. Yeah, exactly. And then once you get through it, you just zone out. I forgot I was even on a ship for a minute. And then they rang the bell and I was like, oh, we're done. <laughs> yep. But all in all, it was around like $300 for it, for everything. So I know it's a little bit expensive for some people. Um, it might not fit your budget, but if you can save up for it, or if you wanted to do just one thing for yourself like that, I would highly recommend that, right? Well, that's because you got extras. Yeah, yeah, so I got extras, but it's around like, cause yours was like 230 with like one extra add-on to it. Um, but I think if you just did it by yourself, it'd be around like 220 plus gratuity. Gratuity is included in the actual, um, what you pay, so you can put extra if you want. Um, but they will let you know that they do actually apply that gratuity in there um, and then they'll give you a, a discount for some other products and things that they have as well so um, yeah but overall that was amazing it was really good that was awesome I'm hoping you can hear me we're sitting in front of the speaker so I'm hoping that I'm not, <laughs> <laughs> it's not drowning on all you can hear is music I think now we're just gonna chill for a little bit and then uh, maybe walk around the ship and go from there participants you guys are going absolutely wild let's get to meet our contestants today hello tell us your name my name's levi all right everyone say hi levi hi, hi, yeah. levi who's this you brought up to play with you uh that's my dad dad all right and how confidently do you feel uh that you and your dad know each other very well not very <laughs> Honesty. Honesty. Yeah. Uh, 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 we're gonna see. We're gonna see. So what I'm gonna do in this game, I'm gonna ask the question, okay? Now you guys at the front, all you've got to do is think about what answer you want to give me. Don't say it out yet. Because it's gonna be your challenge at the back to write down your answers on the whiteboard and then hold them to your chest. Only reveal them when I ask you to. Alright, we got it? Yeah! Alright, well let us play and we'll go around the audience to see if we get some as well. Question number one. Your question is, for the adults, who is your child's favorite Disney character? It could be any character. They could be from Marvel, Star Wars, princesses, main characters, villains, heroes. Think long and hard. This All right, let's you. see. It. Now I'm going to confirm to see if we can get some matches. Let's start here with team number one. Now they'll have to ask you a very important question. Do you have a favorite Disney character? Yes. Yes! <laughs> we have one. Phew! All right. Who is it going to be? Baby Yoda. Baby Yoda! Of course, why? He's so cute. Do you and Dad watch uh, Mandalorian a lot together? Do you have any idea that you could make? If you, you had to pick a list of like two or three other characters, in my opinion, uh, who would be your second choice? Maybe the Mandalorian. And of course. Yeah. If there was one of those, who would the next one be? Yeah, yeah. Star Wars, stick with the Star Wars thing. Pretty <laughs> obvious, right? All right, Dad, spin that board. What did you put down? Man oh, Mandalorian. Oh, that, was, that was option number two. That was only question number one. So let's go ahead for question number two. Erase those whiteboards. Here comes your question number two. If your child was stranded on a desert island, somewhere deserted, okay? What is the one item that they would have to bring with them? However, there is a clause. You're not allowed to bring your phones or your iPads or anything electronic because we clearly know that's going to be the first. Yes, see, but I find you out. All right, write down. <laughs> Straight to the, yeah, phone, too cool. No phones, we've got no electricity here, okay? What else? I need something very specific. 
All right, grown-ups, I'm gonna try on this side of the room. Maybe there's more. Absolutely fine. There's one item in your room or somewhere in your house that you're gonna want to take with you. What do you think? Fishing rod. Ooh, I like that. Are you a keen fisher? Yeah. Dad, do you ever fish with you a lot? No. No, no. You just fish by yourself. Yeah, yeah okay. Yeah, yeah. I'm a little fishing rod. Okay. Fishing rod, don't worry. I think that's a great option. You're going to keep alive that way. We get water, we're getting fish. Dad, do you agree? I wish I did. <laughs> I wish you did too. Pizza! <laughs> I can better answer that answer. That's a good answer. Is that, is that a match? No. Go ahead and erase the boards because we're going to ask the next question. Let's shoot at number two. Here we go. Now, you guys, you're going to need some help with some homework, classroom homework. However, what is the one subject that you would never ask your grown up to help you with? Because they're absolutely clueless. They have no idea. Something at school that you may need help with. Bad. Come and grab me here. <laughs> I get fired. <laughs> I fired myself from my home. All these fired. Oh, kids okay. Um, oh, so well, now we know your family really good, but what about you? What, what subject do you think he would approach you for to struggle with? Well, he's very proficient at math. I would say he would just probably choose math. He doesn't need help. Anymore. He definitely wouldn't ask me for help. Period. Yeah. So, are you saying you, he wouldn't choose math because he's too good that he wouldn't ask you that? What about something that you think you're really bad at? Because that's what he all of them, but... You know what? Let's stick with that answer. All right! Let's spin that ball. Why don't you put down everything? That's crazy! Okay. Here at the beautiful Disney Fantasy. We'll see you around tonight, everybody. That was so awesome. I definitely wish I had my family here to do that, but that was so cool to see all those families interact. That was so fun. I've always wanted to find one of these, but I never did the last time, so... We actually got one. I don't know if I'll keep one for memories or if I'll hide this one again. All right, so we are actually going to go to bed a little bit early because I completely forgot that tomorrow we are in Cozumel and we have an ATV tour that we're going to be doing, which is going to be so jam packed, but it is at 845 in the morning. So we got to get to bed early so we can get a good night rest and uh, go and enjoy that. There is so much more to come. So definitely again, if you are enjoying these Disney fantasy cruise vlogs, please make sure to hit that subscribe button, hit that like button if you are liking these as well. And uh, tomorrow is going to be another jam packed fun day. So I can't wait to show you guys it and uh, I will see you guys tomorrow.